Hi guys, welcome to episode 10 of Breaking Scratch. Um, today we are at uh, Pebble Rock Golf and Bush Country Estate. Um, and yeah, I've been here before. Um, so let's see how this pans out. Right, so hole number one is a 480 meter par four. Water on the left and the right. Uh, dog leg at the end of the fairway. Um, wind into us a little bit. So let's see how we go. Let's go see. Okay, so second shot into this par four, pushed my drive a little bit off the fairway, not terrible. Uh, in this uh, bit of rough here, 110 meters in. Wind off the right quite a bit. Um, going with a 50, with a 50 degree gap wedge. Ooh. Worked out really good. That's a birdie look. All right, so 11 foot putt for birdie. Looks a little left. Slightly uphill. All right. All right, and that's a four. Right, so hole number two, 169 meter par three. Wind off the right still. Uh, big green, bunkers front. Let's see how we go. Ah, but short, bunker. All right, so second shot. Ended up a little short and in the bunker. Long bunker shot. Out semi close would be amazing. Take that every day of the week. All right, so 13 foot for Paul. Right to left. All right. Ah, that's a four. Okay, so hole number th three is a 538 meter par five. Uh, houses and OB all the way down the right. Uh, bit of a bailout area on the left. Bunkers either side of the fairway. Downhill as well. So let's see how we go. That'll be good. All right, laying up with an eight iron. Leave us a full shot in for to the green. That'll do. Perfect. So third shot into this par five, 123 meters in. Wind still off the right a little bit, um, going with a pitching wedge. Kick left. Or oh, first get there. But short. Leaves me with a chip. Looks like it's going right to left. 
Um, let's try and get it close. That's a six. So hole number four is a 194 place 206 meter par three into the wind. Um, going with a three iron. That'll do. 27 foot putt for birdie. Right to left. Downhill feels very slippery, very quick. I'll take that. All right, that's a three. So all number five is a 298 meter par four. Now into the wind, line drive. There is, however, a pole that we can aim for. Um, so let's, I'm not actually going with a driver, I'm going with a... and rivers and dams everywhere. Got this little section in the front here. So I'm laying up with a three iron. Caught half of that. But it looks alright. So after a mostly mishit tee shot um, 162 meters in, uh, uphill, wind behind us this time, um, going with a 7 iron. Right. Right, take that. So the wind's really starting to push now. So luckily from the right for me, because the next hole is a 386 meter par four, dog leg to the right. Some springbok in the way. Hopefully I don't hit them, um, but let's go.
All right, let's go find it. All right, so uh, second shot, uh, 196 downwind. So I'm down clubbing, actually. Try to get a six iron there. Let's see how we go. I don't know, let's go see. So I overestimated the distance I can go with a six iron seems like. Ended up short. Um, so this is my third shot. But thin, a bit long, terrible. So, 45 foot putt from the back of the fringe. Like that. All right, that's a five. All right, so on number eight is a one forty seven place one forty three with the wind behind us, par three. Um, clubbing down, going with a 9-9. Take that every day of the week. So 27 foot putt, right to left and uphill for a birdie. Hit me! Alright, I'll take a three. Alright, so hole number nine is a 533 meter par five. Downwind. Um, three over for the round, so I'm, I have to get some shots back, so I probably will have to get after this a bit. Start. All right, still plenty of meters in. Uh, downwind, chasing it up there with a hybrid. Let's see. All right, like a stinger, that'll work go all right so third shot into this par five uh, 88 meters in uh, full lob wedge for me let's uh, try and get it close and have a look at least All right, birdie look. So a uh, 24 foot putt 
right to left for birdie. Let's go. Alright, and that's a five. Alright guys, so that was a, a three over uh, first nine. Got a bit of work to do. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go big on the back nine. Alright, so I'm three over for the round. This is the back nine uh, on the 10th hole, 526 meter par five. Into the wind of the left. Um, so let's, uh, let's go for it. That'll work. All right, wind's really pushing now. <coughs> so uh, chasing it up there, leaving myself a full shot into the green. All right. All right, so 119 plays, 130 meters in, into the wind. So let's go. Oh, that's a decent birdie look. All right, so 21 foot putt left to right, by the looks of it. For a birdie. Pushed. Pushed it. All right, I'll take that. So the 11th hole is a 158 meter a par three. Um, pins a bit tucked away behind that bunker, but uh, I'm gonna try and stick it close. Need to try and make birdies at some point. Um, going with an eight iron. Uh, but short chip and a putt. All right. Ended up a bit short there. So I'm going to do a toe down six iron. It should go left to right by the looks of it. Alright, and that's for Paul. Breaks the other way. Alright. That's a four. Right, so hole number 12, 323 meter bar four, uphill. So let's, uh, let's get after this. All right. All right, second shot next to the green. Let's see. <laughs> 
Okay, let's go see. Right, two foot putt for birdie. There we go, one back. Hole number 13 is a 167 plays 170 meter because it's uphill uh, par three. And there's literally bushes and rocks and bunkers everywhere. So try and hit it straight. Oh, just short in the bunker. So the wind really did a number on this shot. Um, pushed it back and right into this bunker. So now let's try and get it out to start with. Hopefully close. All right, take that. So, 10 foot quite right to left. But for par. Always low. All right. All right, so hole number 14 is a 430 meter par four, straight into the wind. I'll be all the way down the right. Trouble down the left as well, if you're too far. I don't know, let's go. be fine all right so second shot uh, 167 plays 180 into the wind feels wrong to say but I'm going with a five iron let's see how this goes Didn't miss that, but I'm still short. How's that? Wow. All right. Eight iron, in front of the green. Towing it down. It's long. All right, I'll take that. All right, I'm currently still four over. It really is tricky in this, uh, in this wind. And it's a difficult golf course. It's like you missed a fairway in a bush, in a bush you're gone kind of scenario. Difficult golf course, but it does look in really good condition though. So from what I've heard, the homeowners association of this facility took over the management of the golf course and they are really doing a fantastic job because even I mean we haven't had rain um, even though we haven't had rain the course still looks incredible so well done to the management of this golf course homeowners association you guys are really doing a fantastic job all right so hole number 15 is a 392 meter par four very narrow very narrow fairway um, downhill most of the way, water in front of the green. Don't feel comfortable hitting a driver, there's OB all the way down left and down right. So you really, really have to hit this straight.
All right, let's go see. Second shot into uh, this par four. 143 plays 156. Wins straight in our face. I am clubbing up with two. And I'm worried if that's not going to be enough. So, I'm going to have to go for it, 7 iron. Try and head down a little bit, maybe. All right, there's a lot of discussion going on about this shot. Everything feels short. I'll try and maybe just head down on it a bit. Well, that's pin high with a 7 iron from 143 meters. Better than that, I couldn't have hit it anyway in terms of connecting it. But I'll take that every day of the week. All right, so 24 foot putt, left to right for birdie. Won't fall if you leave it short. All right, take a par though. All right, so hole number 16 is a 421 meter bar five. I know at the end of the fairway there's a big water hazard, and then there's OB all the way down the right, trees all the way down the left. I don't know, let's just go. That'll do. All right, so second shot, uh, 194 it plays. Uh, uphill slightly, bunkers in, fr in the front left and right of the green. Um, but I'm going with a four iron. Big bounce, hopefully on. Let's go. All right. Third shot. All right, birdie look. All right, one back. All right, so hole number 17 is 180 meter par three. Water hazard on the right of the green. Um, what, wind sort of from the back left of, of us. So I'm kind of in between clubs, between a five and a six. Uh, blue means middle green. So I'm gonna go with a five. Nearly killed a bird, but I'm on. Twenty one foot. Right to left. Turns like a heap. All right. All right, 
So last hole, 441 meter par five. So I'm teeing it high, letting it fly, trying to get some shots back. That should work out pretty good. So today has been tough. The wind made it really difficult. Um, gonna try and finish strong at least. Um, but the wind does have a massive impact on how difficult or easy a golf course becomes. And uh, today was one of those days where it was just tough all around. So I'm not upset with the score. I think I played decent. I'm gonna try and finish strong here at least. Um, I'm gonna still go for it. So let's see. All right, second shot into this par five. 197 plays 193. Slightly down wind. So let's uh, let's get it there. Went through the bunker. Let's go see. All right. Second shot rolled through the bunker. Ended up on the slip here. Leave me with a chip. To try and get it close. All right, that's for birdie. I, I should have done better with that chip. Left me with a 16, a 16 foot putt for birdie. Left to right, by the looks of it. Oh well. <laughs> wow. Okay. And that's a five. Alright guys, so that was a three over 75. Tough day. Um, wind conditions played a part. I wasn't striking the ball as I would normally. But I'm not upset. Um, this, is, this is a tough course and it played, it played even tougher today. So I'll be back, I'll come and do this again um, and break the par then. So for everyone, subscribed, liked, support the page. Thank you so much. Um, we'll, we'll keep on bringing you content as good as we possibly can. Um, so until the next time, we see you again. Cheers.